these two structures behind me are called the twin towers because you can see there are two right next to each other and together they contain 16 rooms so I'm guessing there were eight rooms in each so some of the towers might have been two stories four rooms on the bottom four on top but kind of broken off so it's hard to tell how tall they were in 1300 these villages were mysteriously abandoned like most of the other ones found in the southwest and the main reason is believed to be drought like in most other villages the canyon to get out of here otherwise we have to go back the way we came but I heard this way is quicker and I prefer the more adventurous route anyways I am now making my way to the Four Corners Monument. From there I'll head into New Mexico to visit the Salmon and Aztec ruins before heading to Navajo Lake. Right now we're on our way to New Mexico. We've stopped at Four Corners where the four states that we are exploring all come together. We have all these shops up here in each state so I'm gonna check out what they have and see which state is the cheapest and most expensive. traditional Indian flatbread and right here you can see it's covered with cinnamon. I found it on the Colorado side and you really get it in Mexico. Very cool. And I'm eating it in New Mexico. Mm, yeah. Very good and I love cinnamon so I've always wanted to try one of these. It's an Indian taco, Navajo taco to be specific. It costs $8 with everything on it and underneath it's flatbread. I thought it would be an actual all wrapped up. It's not, but I'll just have to eat it like this, but not bad for $8. Flatbread is really soft and chewy. bought this refrigerator magnet for five dollars. Oh, yeah, 
No, we're still in session. Why you stuck that bitch on the Mexico? Nie, nie, ten co to bierze loko tam. A tam jest, tam jest dużo, on tego nie mówi, tam jest dużo, że się w Chinach Upon entering New Mexico, visitors are greeted with its most famous landmark, a 1,583-foot-high insulberg called Ship Rock. The rock's Navajo name, Tsebitai, means winged rock. The rock was both a sacred site for the ancestral Pueblo and the modern-day Navajo. Legend says it was brought in from another place and the Navajo lived up there and only came down to water their fields. The rock was struck by lightning, obliterating the trail, leaving the women and children stranded at the top to starve to death. Today, the Navajo have forbidden people to climb it because they're afraid they will stir up the spirits or rob their corpses. Despite this, people still manage to find a way to climb it, and dozens of adventurous climbers climb to the top of Ship Rock every year. Today, this iconic landmark is a symbol of New Mexico. We're on our way to the Salmon Ruins. We've just entered Farmington. We've stopped at the San Juan River. I thought I would be able to jump in here and cool off, but this river is really fast. I get swept away, so we're going to enjoy the view for now. Here we have a sweat lodge, but I don't think they really needed it because all you have to do is just step out here and you'll start sweating. Well, maybe I guess they would use these in the winter kind of to warm up. Oh, yeah, have a look at this. Right here we have a traditional Navajo Hogan. Some people, I think we passed some of these, so some, some Navajo still live in these, but not a lot, but these are the traditional ones. Uh, is outdoor oven. Back, back then everyone would live in these. They're kind of similar to Mongolian yurts. This is actually the ladies' home, and the, right here the women would actually knit ru rugs here. You will never see one of these inside traditional clothing. This pueblo, this pit house. Oh wow! Look at this. This is a pit house, and I would love to live in one of these. That's right. And that is actually built into the side of this mud cliff. It is cool. Yeah, so uh, underground, so that way it would stay nice and cool in here. Basket maker pit house. These right here were used for food storage because it was cooler underground so it wouldn't spoil in the hot desert heat.
General Salmon, who lived in this area. established a homestead here after stumbling upon them. archaeologists actually discovered an underground circular foundation because they wanted to construct a kiva here but they never finished. Oh geez, this is some of it. That's 15? 15, right? 15? Woven sandals. different periods of construction. That's because it was abandoned by the original inhabitants and then later it was reoccupied by people who were related to the ones 
lived in Mesa Verde, so it's possible they could have migrated from that We're driving through the town of Aztec. Now we're in the downtown. 